concerns over staffing and overtime at the state penitentiary in Lincoln. Currently, there are 77 protective staff vacancies. That's nearly twice as many as the same time last year. That's caused a prison in which the population is 180% over design capacity to drop below critical staffing or minimal levels more than two dozen times in the last month and a half. And then you end up closing down different parts of the penitentiary. So visitation, education, the library, the gymnasium, things like that. You restrict movement. Doug Kobernick, the Inspector General of Corrections, says another big concern, staff on duty are asked or made to work long hours. At the beginning of 2018, there was approximately 11 or 12,000 hours of overtime a month at the Nebraska State Penitentiary. In June of this year, it was over 18,000 hours of overtime. On Monday, Kobernick sent a memo to senators on the Judiciary Committee outlining his concerns. It doesn't come as news. The, the numbers are concerning. Uh, but I knew there was a problem. You have to have adequate staff or you're going to lose control of your facility. In a statement, Corrections Director Scott Frake says the issue of employment recruitment and retention is not a situation unique to Nebraska. They are trying a multi-layer approach which included pay increases and recruitment. The bottom line is that in an economy where unemployment is low and opportunities abound, it is challenging to fill vacancies. NDSC remains committed to ensuring that staffing is maintained at appropriate levels across all facilities at all times. It's not like the department hasn't tried to step up recently and, and address this problem. But the problem still exists. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.